Now, just to go back a little bit at the golden nuggets. Now, it seems very clear, you know, this is a, a really solid fact that's going to support why someone would buy whatever you're offering. And then you say support it with a story. And I know so many fall, so many people fall on their faces when it comes to what story do I tell? Do you guys have any tips on? Great, great story. I, I've actually, I, I, I call it the benefit story. In other words, it's not a testimonial and it's not a true story. But in other words, do you have a, a client, a patient, uh, or somebody that has used your product or you know somebody that has used the product? And don't, don't only tell me about their experience, but tell me what did they achieve? What were the results they got? What was the benefit of using your product or service? And be succinct with that. Because what, what drives traffic is other people's results. And if I can relay that to you in a story, again, here's the beauty of telling a benefit story. It lowers the resistance uh, to the receiver of that story. They're listening to the message. They're listening to the story. They're getting involved. And the same thing is happening. If that could happen to you, it could happen to me. Where do I invest? Right. So now the question becomes, what if this is the first time I'm offering it and there are no past clients? What do I do now? Great, great question. You know, you know the value of, of your product or service. You know what it could do. So then instead of being a benefit story from somebody else, let me know what can I ben benefit from. In other words, don't just speak on, uh, on features. Speak on the benefits of using your product or service, or let's say if, it, if it's a, f a philanthropy, on the g giving to this organization. What is the benefit? You know, raising uh, child awareness, different things that I, as a receiver, as a prospect, I understand, okay, if I do this transaction, these are the benefits I will receive. Or better yet, if it is a philanthropy, the other people will receive. Okay, so can you give us a, like a solid uh, example? Like, for example... Let's say you've never given your million dollar message intensive before. This is the first time you're doing it. How would you come up with a golden nugget and a story to support it? Okay. I know that every time when we begin a presentation, we have to be crystal clear on our close. And what we got to be crystal clear on is our call to action. So this is the benefit of that. If the audience is crystal clear on what you're going to offer them, guess what? the likelihood of, of results will increase by 50%. Why? The reason being is that when audiences know what they're going to receive and the actions that they're going to get, they're going to receive a 50% increase in what they do. So by coming to my intensive, you will learn how to convert 50% of the room to believe in your product or service. So now I noticed you kind of had a call to action within the golden nugget. So do you sprinkle in your call to action throughout the body? Yeah, definitely. That's uh, very, very observant there. <laughs> uh, we call uh, what I call that is seeding. Uh, okay. What I'm doing, and, and like you said, that, that I sprinkle it in. I don't do it for every golden nugget, but every now and then during a golden nugget, I may seed, just like you said, sprinkle in the end product that I'm going to uh, that I'm going to do. So in this case, if you listen to that example, I seeded my intensive. When you attend my intensive. So there it is. So I've given the benefit of it increases sales by 50%. By attending my intensive, guess what it does for you? It helps you to open up 50% more of your audience. There, okay. a benefit story for the prospect. 